In studio with me tonight is Congressman Bob Latta, home for a little visit from Washington. And right now, the thing people have been talking about around here are what happened to gas prices? We saw them just coming down really nicely in many places around the Toledo area. They were dipping just right. below $3, and now all of a sudden, they're back up. Well, overall, we, we, we need to have an oil policy in this country, an energy policy. And uh, our problem right now is we're still importing well over 50% of our oil that we use every day. We use about 18 million barrels a day. And when, you know, last week uh, when the president came out and said he was going to release 30 million barrels from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve, that's only 1.6 days usage of oil in the United States. So really a small amount. Yeah. It, when they talk, talk about a drop in a bucket, that's what it is. But there was kind of a blip that the market saw that as, but then all of a sudden the blip was over and right back up we went. And what we need to do is, because it's really hurting a lot of folks, because you know, not only small businesses and large businesses, but I know I almost get gas almost every day because I'm in my district driving all the time. <laughs> I've noticed more and more people buying either three, four, or five gallons at a time. Mm -hmm. And you know, we have so much oil that we could be uh, utilizing in this country, but we just have to get to it. And it's time that the, you know the administration and our friends on the other side of the aisle say, you know what, we have to start producing and using what we have here because also we create tens of thousands of jobs just from that. But it does take some time to get oil in new places going, correct? Well, it's going to take uh, the oil production also and also have the refinery capacity because, you know, right now we have the refineries we have for what we've got. But if we could actually say we're going to start uh, drilling in Alaska, offshore, onshore, and, and also having uh, the utilization of our shale oil, we can, we can start having a lot more. But, you know, if the rest of the world sees that the United States is serious, that we're going to start production here in this country, you're going to start watching oil prices go down because they're going to say, okay, we're not going to have to rely on places around the world that might not be friendly to us and be tougher to get to. Where, how much did you say that we were importing? Was it about half? Over, over half over the oil half. that we use every day. Where is it coming from? What countries? Well, we get a lot from Canada, Mexico, and then, of course, uh, Venezuela, and then we get from the, the Middle East. Okay. Now let's move on to the farm bill. That's going to affect a lot of people in northwest Ohio, right. southeast Michigan. You know, besides being manufacturing, we have a lot of farm families around here. Um, there may be some big changes in this. Could you talk about that? Well, the farm bill will be coming up in 2012, and even this year alone, we said when we passed our budget out of the House that we cut $30 billion in pretty much what you might call farm subsidies. One would be on the direct payments, the other was on the uh, insurance program. So there's, there's going to be changes that are going to be happening, but when people have got to realize, when we talk about a farm bill in Washington, the vast majority of that farm bill happens to be food stamps. Mm -hmm. So there's only less than 30% of what was passed five years ago is part of the farm bill. And school as we, lunches, as we, things you know, like as, that. Is what we know right. it as. So the, the big question, and I've talked a lot about farmers in my area because I represent the largest ag district as well as a huge manufacturing district here in the state of Ohio. Mm -hmm. I've said, what would you all like to see? And there's a lot of the uh, farmers I've talked to have already said, look, we understand that direct payments not might be in the cards in the future and that probably we'll be looking at some kind of a CNET instead of a direct payment. Okay, so it, it'll be a different world right, for farmers yeah. in the future. All right. Well, thank you for well, your thanks time. Thanks very much. We appreciate you coming in. I appreciate it. Congressman Bob Latta, and that is tonight's talk.